welcome back to week two of the Valentine's collaboration hosted by Creating with Jovi. The other participants are BB's Closet Creations, Kathy's Favorite Things, and Recrafted by Carol. If you would like to check out their clusters or snippets this week for week two, I will have the links to their channels in my description box. This week we were asked to create clusters or snippets for a Valentine theme. So I'm going to continue to make some things for my Valentine journal that I showed last week that I made out of a vintage greeting card. I'm still using these hearts that are left over from a Valentine's tree that I had made several years ago but kept the decorations for. And I'm also, I also cut out another little heart out of scrapbook paper and that's one of my watercolor roses that I love to, to paint. Um, and here I'm just tying a little tiny bow tie with some glittery tool from the Dollar Tree that I got a couple of years ago. And trimming it down just because it was a little long for my project. And I'm going to put that there and pick a button to hold it down. So I'm trying to find the perfect pink vintage button. I really need to separate my buttons by color. That would help me a lot when I'm looking for a color like this, but for now they're just in one big tote. So I just started using a, a glue gun for junk journaling and it is life-changing. I mean, I grew up using glue guns, you know, in the eighties, they were all the rage with all the craftiness that was happening, but I never really pulled it out for junk journaling, but it is so great for things like this when you have 3D embellishments and you don't want to wait a long time for E6000 or Fabri-Tac to dry. So I'm just gluing down this little tool bow tie first, and then I'm going to use more glue on the button to hold that down. I just love the color red. As you can see, I have a red sweater on. I like to wear this sweater a lot in February. <laughs> I was just rounding out the little heart. That is just a label that I stamped and then wrote the word love on, and I thought I would just tuck it in beside that watercolor rose. And you know what? I decided it needed a little more bling, so I got one of those glitter foam hearts from Dollar Tree and added it to the cardstock heart that I already had glued down. Now I'm going to choose a piece of cardstock, a white cord cardstock, that I just ripped the edges around and I'm adding some distress ink. I think it's spun sugar is the color. I don't use it much because it's sort of pale, but for things like this, I thought it added a little bit of a nice element. This is one of the Tim Holtz roses, and then this is a heart cut out of wrapping paper. Off camera, I was looking for a perfect piece of lace. The first one I pulled out was actually shamrocks, so that wouldn't have worked. But I found this cute little piece that I will layer underneath this heart. I decided the pink was not showing up on this guy, so I grabbed my trusty vintage photo <laughs> ink pad and decided to make the heart look a little more old. I just love using those Tim Holtz flower cutouts. I'm getting really low on my stash, but I think they just look so vintage and so classic. I can't believe Valentine's is just a week away, y'all. I've already bought the little surprises for my kids, and my husband and I haven't talked about what we're going to do yet. We normally don't go big on Valentine's Day. Just have little special surprises for each other. Um, at the breakfast table on Valentine's morning is generally what we do. 
What are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? I'm holding down a little satin rose um, at the center of this heart while it dries. I don't know what that black thing is in the corner of my screen, so it's kind of covering up the... It must be a lamp or something. I'm sorry about that. So I'm using some gingham paper. Very old scrapbook paper. I think I had this when our kids were born when I was working on their scrapbooks. But I'm trying to make sort of a pennant shape without a template. And I'm going to create a, a pennant shaped cluster. I'm adding some vintage photo ink. Here's another little heart that I cut out of paper that had little tiny hearts on it. I thought it looked very 80s. <laughs> Here is some vintage, I guess it's still tool, but it's the kind with the very large holes that were po that was popular in the 80s. And I thought I'd put that behind this heart to sort of go with the 80s looking theme here. And then this is a stamped label that I typed the word cherish on and I decided just to make the whole thing pink. <laughs> And I thought we needed one more element of pink. So I'm looking for some pink lace. And I'm just going to cut a little piece off. And add it to the layering. The little heart can hold the net down. And then I carefully... I'm so afraid of getting burned on hot glue. But <laughs> very carefully set the lace down. And then I can use the label to hold everything together. And of course, the glittery heart. So those are my three clusters for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it gave you some ideas on how to embellish your Valentine projects. And I appreciate you watching as always. I hope you guys have a lovely Monday.